Are you ready to get an awesome live stream off your phone? You've started your adventure. Now you have a story to tell. But how? This is your show, RV Media Creators. I'm Garrett, and in this community, we will show you how. So let's show the world your story. Today, we are going to talk about Prism Live Studios. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, how to go live, and also some of the cool benefits that you have from this program. It's a pretty simple program, but there's a lot of stuff to it as well. Let's go ahead and jump right into the app. The first thing it'll want you to do is to log in with your Google account. If you have a YouTube account, you want to make sure to use that account when you set this up. So hit Google, continue. You follow the prompts to select what Google YouTube account you want to stream to, and then I have it set up. Now, you can get a few things done beforehand. I'm gonna put it sideways. You'll notice that I have a few options up here. You have your live on the right. You have your little wand. You have the little circles. I'm gonna go over and talk to the top left here. You have a few options. You can turn your flash on or off, depending on if you're streaming facing forward or not. You can turn your mic on and off, camera on, pretty much stays on all the time. There are two things here that I want to bring your attention to. Number one is flip facing camera. The second is save video after streaming. So if you want to save your video after a live stream, all you have to do is toggle that switch on. If you want to switch your front facing camera, all you have to do is turn that and now it is facing the other direction. What this allows you to do is it feels more natural. Your letters are gonna be forwards and it's not gonna have that mirrored effect. You wanna check your settings to make sure it all looks nice before you go live so that you're not having to deal with stuff on the fly. If you want to get different videos layered up for a live stream, you can toggle right and it says my studios. And here's where you can add media and other things like that. I'm gonna add my intro so that you can play the intro at the beginning of the video, which is pretty cool. You hit media in the middle, you can sort your media type. You can put a picture, you can put a video, things like that. Then I hit media, I'm gonna hit video. And that filters out all the pictures and makes it a little easier to find like an intro video that you made. There it is. Add. All right, that is added to my studio. Now, there are two other places that I'm gonna go over in separate videos. One is your video editing portion of the app and the other is your photo. Both of those require their own videos so I'm not gonna go into that right now. I'm just touch, talking about the live function. Now that you're ready to go live, you hit the little clapper board and set a destination. So you have all your options here. You hit YouTube if you're going to YouTube, connect to YouTube, and you can do a custom channel if you need to. Hit okay. And then it'll give you a list of accounts to log into. And I'm going to make this one unlisted because I did a live stream last week. If you want to see what it looks like live, go ahead and join me last week. I'll link that video now. Hit OK. Here, you can put your, your title, your, tag, your title, and in that kind of information. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to put test. Okay. There are two options I want to sh bring your attention to. The bottom one being your resolution. You can stream in 720 or 1080. You can have your adaptive bitrate, resolution, and so you can set it to like 1080p. You can set your frame rates to 30 or 24, and you can call that good. Now, it will stream at the highest it can. So if you try to stream at 1080p and your bandwidth or your internet connection is not that strong, it's not gonna be 1080p. 
it's probably going to drop down to 720. But if you have the bandwidth to be able to go to a higher quality, you can do that directly off your phone. The other thing I want to show you is where it says intro. You click on the intro. It gives you a list of videos you've selected to add into your media. You can notice that I did add my intro. So I'm going to click that. And if you want to trim it up, you can. You hit done. And now that is sitting ready to go for my intro. So when I hit live, it's going to play that first. Let's do that now. It'll take a few seconds. Count down. And now I am live and this is my intro. It is playing right now. It'll tell you how long you have left. And you can just skip it if you want. You have how long you've been live up top. And you'll also have the number of people that are joining you during your live stream. All right, I am officially live. It's unlisted, so you're not going to be able to see it. But I wanted to show you a few options. Right here on the left-hand side, you see Prism Studios. Why well, RV Media Creators is live on air. That is your chat. Now, if someone joins, you can comment. So I can say, hey, hey, send. Did it do it? There it goes. Sometimes it does delay just a little bit. You can see my comment is right there. What's really cool about this is your chat is going to be right going up there on the screen. So you can interact with your audience from there. Now, next one is all those cool little faces. They're all like Instagram posts, frames, and other things. You have tons of options. Let's go ahead and get get some crazy stuff going on here. Uh, let's go. Let's go into space. <laughs> okay. Now, let's say I want to add another filter. Sometimes, if you don't have it preloaded, it may take a second for it to load up. But now, I have a cool extra little blingy thing. And then down at the bottom left is it will clear it all out. Then you have other emojis. You want to subscribe? Subscribe. Lots of cool things that you can do. And it's very similar to like a, uh, Instagram stories, fun little creative thing. The other thing I wanted to bring your attention to is these three little circles. Those are like Instagram filters. What is cool about this is you get to kind of play around with it and find something that looks good for you. That doesn't look that great. Natural. You can like do ND filter types. ND1, that's not bad. Let's say that one, it's not too bad. So you can actually play around with these. Okay, that's cool. Oh yeah, I'm getting some like, going to some crazy, you know, black and white. Monochrome, little monochrome. So what this is allows you to do, and what I really like about it, is you could get a really nice looking live stream or something that looks kind of cool by just changing the filter. And the filter is on every live stream and it's free. Next feature I want to talk about is the ability to flip your camera. I'm gonna flip that around and you can see the camera I'm recording. The downside of this is that you're not able to actually see the chat, but if you are like interviewing somebody and you're wanting to just videotape them or you're videotaping something else, it's not a big deal because you can just view the chat from the other side. You might get a better image though from the front facing camera. The next thing I wanna talk about is go back to our media and you'll notice I added a few elements to our live stream. I'm going to add my music. Now I have music playing in the live. And I'm also going to go back. I'm going to add a text overlay. You click on it. Boom. RV Media Creators. Next, I'm going to go back over here. And I'm going to hit like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. RV Media Creators. This is very easy. You just tap on the music, you go onto your device or onto a library, and you download a song or you select a song. Make sure it's royalty free or you're gonna get hit with a copyright strike. And then in your text, you have the ability to use simple titles. You can do social media. You can add lower third, you can add elements. And then you can tell, hide the motion, 
when it is complete. You can direct people to like your your prism. You can direct people to wherever you want really. Hit cancel and then you can you can size it up. You can change the colors. Let's say orange. You can change the text type to Georgia. You can have it orient differently. Uh, I can hit text here. Sorry, very boring on this one. Text here. It's right there in the middle. And you can tag it around. Let's say you want to say something, give a website, something like that. You can put that on from there. And when you're done, hit the X and it goes away. And end live broadcast. Now, once you're done with your video, you have the option to save it, share it, open URL. So you can open this into, let's say, your YouTube studios. You can share it wherever you want to share it. You copy the link, upload it, blah, blah, blah. You can edit a video in here, and that is definitely another video, and upload it here once you're done. And it'll tell you how long your video was live for or how long it was made if you edit the video. That is basically how simple it is to go live on Prism Live Studios. There are some amazing things that you can do from this program. The only thing that you'll want to do that is a free program, there is no real pay structure to it. So you're not getting more features by paying for it. You'll notice if you start this out out of the box. I've been using this for a while, so I have it turned off. You can actually turn your watermarks off. The only thing that they ask you to do is turn the notifications on and the watermark will go away. That's it. So, and they don't really send you anything crazy. They're not like hounding you or sending you crazy mail or anything like that. I never even really received an email from Prism Studios. So, it's actually pretty cool. So, having a free system that you can stream off of directly on your phone and doesn't have a watermark, doesn't have any kind of restrictions is a winner in my book. Now, I will do more videos in the future on how to use the video editor and how to use the photo editor to get some really awesome photos and videos on your phone. It's almost a one-stop shop for everything you need. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, remember I'm Garrett and I want to help you tell your story. Bye everybody.